Hi everyone, John Paul Brionis here from InMotion Hosting and thank you for joining us for another video in our WordPress in Motion series. Today I'm going to show you how to reset your WordPress permalinks. Often after migrating your site to a new server or when you're experiencing 404 errors, you may have to reset your WordPress permalinks. Resetting your WordPress permalinks, essentially I'm just choosing a different option and then rotating it back to the original option and saving it again, which resets the permanent links or the permalinks to your pages in WordPress. Essentially, it rebuilds the links that we're linking to your pages. So to begin, let's go ahead and log into our WordPress admin dashboard. If you don't know how to do that, a pop-up will come up on the screen. Go ahead and click that to go to our full guide on how to log into your WordPress admin dashboard. All right, once you've logged in, we're going to click the settings option here on the left. When it drops down, you'll see the option here for permalinks. Let's go ahead and click that. All right, when you do that, you'll see the permalink setting page here, and you'll see the common settings here below. And at this point, you see I'm Jeff Chiv. At this point, you see I have month and name selected. Essentially, that's how my post would look it would include the month and the name. And in your case, your setting may be different, but the main point here is that you need to pick a different setting. If, if you have, for example, month and name or day and name or any of these other options to choose, I recommend choosing plain and then go ahead and save it. If you have a custom structure set up, something coded in this box, and this is selected, you could actually go ahead and select that and copy it so you can put it back later. All right, but in my case, I just have month and name selected. So I'm going to go ahead and click plain, which is a different setting. Click the save changes. When you do that, you'll see the permalink structure updated message here. And then I'm going to put it back onto month and name. And once again, like I described before, if you have a custom structure, I recommend putting your, your settings back in there that you copied. In my case, once again, I'm just using month and name. So I'm putting it back to the original setting. And then I'm going to click the save button to record that. you'll see the permalink structure updated message here again and at this point your permalink settings have been reset and you should no longer get the 404 errors at least if it's caused by this uh, these permalink links thank you for joining us for another video in our WordPress in motion series feel free to like this video and comment below so we can bring you more great videos in the future Do you know the InMotion Hosting Support Center has thousands of articles, pictures, and video tutorials to help you out with your web hosting questions? It's something for everyone, from beginners to experts. Join our community and sign up with your Facebook or Google Plus for free swag, prizes, and discounts. Visit our support center at InMotionHosting.com support.